Michael Wills is my guest. Uh, he was a hockey player. Things weren't going so well as you're playing down in Boston. You had friends die. You're depressed. Mm -hmm. What changed? Uh, literally, I had a captain. My, my captain in Boston uh, helped me get through uh, some tough times. He introduced me to uh, like just a Bible study. And I don't know why I kept going, but uh, it just... For some reason, it, it just comforted me, and uh, just a light bulb clicked on, and, and I wanted to, you know, see this through and, and see what this Jesus was all about. And so he introduced me to a church and, and down in Boston, and it just changed my life. It felt like, you know, I walked through those doors, and I got hit by a train. And then, uh, yeah, he, he helped me uh, get to uh, a comforting place when I was at the rock bottom of my so life. So what do you mean you got hit by a train? What are you just like, whoa? It just felt like, you know, I walked through the doors, I got like just kicked right in the chest and I couldn't breathe. And I think that was the Holy Spirit just kind of, you know, introduced me to this life. So it was, it was pretty cool that way. So you had some experience in your childhood with church, but mm -hmm. never made that real strong connection between yeah. the Christian religion, maybe, and, yeah. and a relationship with Jesus? Yeah, I never experienced uh, the liveliness of Jesus in, in, a, in a way that uh, my captain introduced me. Um, it was more like just show up and do your duty, and if it was going to be like that, I never wanted to be. So I stepped away um, quite a bit, and I guess... That's running away a little bit. And then when I hit rock bottom, I, I came back to him. So I'm great. For How'd that. you do that? Did you just, it was it in a help prayer or was it somebody leading you through? Yeah. Um, with my captain and his, uh, our like ministry mentor, um, they helped me through some of the grieving processes of, of depression and suicide and losing my friends. And so one day just after, hitting rock bottom of just partying too much. I got down on my knees one day in the rain and asked God to, to take me in. And it was, uh, never felt so alive and, and loved before. So it was this huge rush of sensation coming at you and it was really neat. So you had two passions as a child. Mm -hmm. One to play in the NHL. Yeah. Now you played at a very high level, yeah. junior. You, did, yeah. you didn't get there. Yeah. But you're an artist. Tell yeah. me about that. And we've got these wonderful paintings on the set here. Yeah. Michael, tell me how that is something that's been revived in your life. And now you've got this desire to, yeah. this is what you want to do. Right. Uh, with my physical energy of playing college and pro, I, I could do my emotional energy, which is painting. And that's, I need that release in my life. And... Um, I transitioned from pro to going to a pro artist, so I needed to kind of express myself and, and more with the concussions and stuff like that. Uh, I had to let go of hockey, but there was a uh, part to like almost grieve that as well, so to release and rehabilitate myself. Mm. And now that I'm a professional artist, you know, I get to do what I love to do, and, and I've always been uh, a creative kid. And I think God was closing the doors to open up new ones. And, and this is what he's called me to do now. So. What do you see then for the future? Um, I would love to solely do this um, um, and then get into working with interior designers or, you know, going into banks and law firms and having my stuff in there. But uh, I've been having a couple solo shows um, and gearing up for another one this year. And it's, you know, I'm looking to just use my art to uh, help others, um, you know, with the walk through um, that I've gone through, uh, just to relate to someone else and, and help them with uh, their depression or their suicide and, and meet Jesus. You know. Do you feel, I know my wife is an artist as mm -hmm. well, and she says, you know, she feels the Lord's, you know, pleasure when she's painting. Do you yeah. feel that? Oh, definitely. You know, his presence is right there when I'm painting, whether it's um, good, bad, or the ugly. And um, it's it's nice to feel him and, and talk to him during this. So, mm. yeah. Well, you're an amazing young man. Thank, thank you. you for coming and sharing your story. You. And man, you do amazing yeah. <laughs> work. So <laughs> way you. to go. Yeah, thank you. And you know, hey, if you're going through a depression or yeah. a difficulty, whatever it is in your life, mm -hmm. we always have some amazing people on the other side, on the other side of our prayer line. Just want to encourage you. Uh, give a call anytime, 24-7, 1-866-273-4444. We'll have more of 100 Huntley Street right after this.